Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, as we approach that Thanksgiving holiday shortened week. And right now, we got markets again in positive territory. That is after a record close yesterday in the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P. Right now, we got Dow futures up 23 points, trading 20, 28,062. S&P futures positive by one, trading at 31.33. NASDAQ futures positive by three points, trading at 83.80. Oil right now positive by about 30 cents at 58.32. Gold contract negative about $2 at 14.54. And the bond 10-year yield sitting at 1.736%. We start things off, you see the print overnight on the S&Ps, quite a number, 31.45. Looking at the futures contract, we've paired most of those gains back to 31.33, still looking for a relatively positive open near record territory. Jumping over to the VIX, we'll start things off. We got an 11 handle, as you might expect, with all-time highs, 11.87 in that volatility index as we await the opening bell about 30 minutes from right now. Start things off, let's jump over to the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. And you can see the spike in all the indices. Dow made it up to 28,144, currently trading 28,061. There's your NASDAQ 100, reaching a high overnight at about 8.45 p.m. Eastern time last night of 84.18, pairing most of those gains back down to 83.77. S&P 500, as I mentioned, all the way up last night to 31.44, currently 31.33. Crude oil, $58.34 right now. There's your gold contract trading at 14.55, was up there about 14.58 for, at 4 a.m. Eastern time, and the euro U.S. dollar trading at 1.1018. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, Chairman Powell saying he, that, that the Fed is, quote unquote, strongly committed to 2% inflation goal, a sign that rates are likely to hold steady. Best Buy, out with their earnings, trading higher this morning, beating expectations and raising forecasts ahead of the holidays. Get a little trade optimism as you have China's top trade negotiator, Liu. He talks to Lighthizer Mnuchin about resolving core issues. That adding to some of the strength in the market this morning. And Best Buy, looking to open at about 76.66. Closed yesterday at 74.25. And Fitbit with some action as well this morning, up to 6.98. Stay tuned, folks. We got Steve Rhodes filling in live for Larry Pezzamento at 9. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Live programming all day. We'll be right back.